Hey guys, welcome back, how's it going? So, I didn't bore you with the details, but I do have now the start of my freeze dryer setup. So right now my harvest right is freeze drying the uh, batch of bread, and it has been for two and a half hours. I already went through the pre-test, everything worked out fine, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I got an accessory rack over here, which I'm gonna use a lot of. Now I have drawers coming in underneath that will go here that will store all the Mylar bags and things. And then up here on the wall, I'm gonna have hooks and a small shelf put in for all my uh, doodads, right? My, my temperature checks, my gauges, my scale. Um, I did buy a vacuum sealing, uh, fresh rolled vacuum sealer. Now it comes with you know, a roll of bags for sous and stuff that I'm not going to use. I'm more, more concerned about the vacuum sealing and heating here um, because the regular Harvest Right impulse sealer that they send um, doesn't do the vacuum. But I have that as backup if needed. So I got my pump all set up as well. Um, everything seems to be functioning just fine. I do have two gallon bottles of the premium pump oil on order. So I'll have a supply of the pump oil as well. So I'm looking forward to getting that in. Um, I had two sets of trays. So I got tray covers. So if I'm doing eggs or soups, um, I can put these on and then uh, pre-freeze in my freezer, which I got set up over here. And then I got some doodads. I haven't even tried it yet. I got some silicone cups, different sizes, in case I want to make uh, bars of things to chew on or whatever. And I, these were on sale for like a dollar. I mean, like for four, literally. So these are banana slicers. I don't know if they'll be any good or not, or a regular knife is gonna be what I wanna use. And then uh, I did get from Life After 40 their dividers. So I have a bunch of dividers and silicon mats as well for the large trays. Now I got these stackers, but I probably won't use the stackers because if I'm gonna stack, I'll probably just use the lids. And then I have an, an initial supply of uh, bags, right? And oxygen absorbers. All this stuff will get arranged in the drawers when I get the drawers set up. So I'm excited about that. And uh, yeah, it's plugged it in. Now, I am going to upgrade the firmware. I'm at two, six something, and I've already copied to a flash drive. So they have a little flash drive here. Once it's done with this test, I'll probably go ahead and upgrade the firmware. <coughs> but let me tell you about my setup. I'm in the tropics. This room is 75% humidity right now, and it goes up. And obviously it's 30 degrees, so it's warm in here. So I built in a couple exhaust fans, which you'll see over there in the corner I can turn on, to help keep this room cool during summertime. I got them off right now because it's noisy enough in here. But uh, that's my start setup. I'm, I'm excited about it. I might have to adjust things later because there will be another ice machine that will go here for the coffee shop. So I might have to slide things down, which is fine. Um, if you're wondering what this thing on top is, so the power out here in the Philippines is not the greatest, right? It flickers in. Last night we had a typhoon, it went on and off five or six times. This is a, a 30 amp UPS, right? So it's huge. And uh, it will more than enough cover this freezing freeze dryer and the pump when it's on. And it's uh, auto sensing for 50, 60 hertz. So this gives me realistically about 10 minutes of backup. Um, I know 10 minutes isn't a lot when you're drying stuff for 48 hours, but if the power flicks on and off for a minute, which is common out here, this is more than adequate to keep things running and it doesn't interfere with the freeze drying cycle. So I'm pretty excited about that. It was expensive. My whole unit is um, a European model of the freeze dry because I'm at 22240 out here. So they sent me the EU version. I think I'm the only one in the Philippines with the freeze dry. Um, dryer from Harvest Right because uh, it's the first time they ever had to deal with shipping and customs and stuff. So obviously they haven't done it before. So 
they wanted all the details, how much was customs, you know, local transport. So I gave them all the details so they have that information for their sales team if anybody else ever sells one out here. But I highly recommend if you're anywhere where the power is not good and you, you're, you're going to freeze right, get yourself a heavy duty UPS, okay? Now, my freeze time is going to be longer as it even indicates here because my room temperature is just going to be warmer. Now, I can't do anything to change that. I live in the tropics. It's hot and moist. I do have a sensor so I can kind of see what's going on. But yeah, so it's doing its uh, bread run. Um, probably take 10 hours or so, I'm not sure. But I'm setting things up and I'm excited as anybody who just gets a freeze dryer working is. And I will probably start whipping up my first batch tomorrow and getting it in the freezer ready to run. I'll probably run eggs for a while because eggs are getting expensive and they're, they're a high commodity. But uh, I like powdered eggs and we eat a lot of omelets and stuff of that nature. So what I'll probably do is I'll work on getting the uh, eggs frozen on my extra set of trays and then another batch of eggs right behind it, uh, frozen and set up on my trays as well. So what the eggs are gonna be is basically just scrambled eggs with nothing added to them, raw scrambled eggs, uh, freeze dry them, powder them, store them, and then I'll move on to things like the oatmeal and other stuff I wanna do. So that's my update. I'm very excited. All right, freeze dryer is up and running. It is doing its thing. It didn't have any issues and uh, Stay tuned for videos of me freeze drying food. With that, if you like this content, please hit the like button. I know you guys are watching because I can see the hours, but you keep forgetting to hit the like button. So hit that like button and uh, until the next update, thank you.